Hello, my friends. It's Nancy Basti, and we're going to play in the Chunky Monkey today. I've named mine the Chunky Monkey, and, um, yeah, except for I want this page curled up a little more. So, I've got out my... Oh, first of all, what we're going to do is reinforce the, um, the binding. Then i got to find the center where it's sewed in. That's not it. You know, where's the center of this thing? There we go. So here we go. And I'm going to put some tape on here. And I just put away all my washi tape. But on the back of it, I'm going to put this tape on the spine on the back. Let's see. I'm going to just put some uh, masking tape on the binding here. And I don't know, I'm doing it just because Dawn from Let's Make a Mess did hers, her fatty patty. I'm calling mine the Chunky Monkey. So let's see if we can get this even. Even the Steven. I have a whiny dog today. She doesn't want to go outside in the cold to go pee pee. So she's pee peeing on the floor. So she has to be put in her cage. And then when she gets out of her cage, she has to go right outside. Whether it's cold or not, you have to go outside sometimes to pee pee. My grandma had an outdoor toilet, outdoor out house for, gosh, I don't know, but when I'd go over there to stay, um, she always had a pot under her bed, so I could use that, and then she'd dump that somewhere outside, I think. Okay, so now I'm going to use this tape. It's a pretty tape. I've had this for a long time. I decided I thought I should use it up and reinforce this binding. Well, we're going to really reinforce it because I can't get this tape off. Oh. It's really sticky. Let's see. Is that about enough? A little more. Where's my scissors? Yeah, and then I've got all these inks, which I'm going to ink the pages. So, let's see, I'm going to set this down and try to get it as even as I can. Can you see? And I'm going to set Chunky Monkey and try to center Chunky Monkey. Maybe. like so and then I should have put glue on it and I'm going to on this side I wish I had done it on the other side but I didn't I'm going to use different glue I'm going to use this 
craft bond. This is the stuff that Shannon Green recommends. She recommends a lot of glues. I'm sorry you're going to have to listen to her. If my husband would go lay down on his bed, she would shut up. But he's sitting at the computer playing, and so she wants out of that cage. And I would, too, if I was her. Maybe I should put some down here. I'm going to glue this on. I don't want Chunky Monkey to fall apart. When I start filling it up. Okay. Ooh, I have glue. I have glue. I got to get a wet wipe because I have glue. I have a little bit of glue oozing out of there. And I don't want that for sure. Yeah, I'm not too thrilled with it up here. It really doesn't want to stick. What is your problem? Tape. I've had this tape for so long. And it's been through different temperatures. Hot, cold. I think that ruins the sticky on the tape sometimes. Because I had it upstairs in the um, built-in porch out there. And then I had it on top of a shelf out there that... Um, and the sun shined in on it and really messed up my tapes. But I still use them, but they're kind of messed up. What I'm doing is cutting the end off of this. Where I made it a little bit too long. And, yeah, I'm excited for this new year to come around. And I'm going to do lots more journal, journal pages this year. I'm going to make more paper because we always run out of that pretty paper that um, we make and use. I use mine. I don't know what I'm going to put out on the front of this, but I want to put something pretty. I want to put something pretty pretty on here. I'm thinking about gessoing it and painting it and then crackling it. I don't know. But anyway, let's get started. Let's start. And I have these VersaFine ink. You guys are blown out. Why is this blowing out? I just don't understand it. Hang on a minute. Let me see what I can do here. You're just blowing, blowing out. Now I put it on auto. Now it seems like the brightness is gone. 
but I've moved my lighting. Let me move my lighting back. And it's not making a difference, is it? Because I'm getting a glare from this light right here. Oh my gosh. Let's see, exposure. There we go. All right, let's save that and see how that works. Man, you were, I'm glad I looked up there. It was blown out. Now, see, I've ripped a couple of pages doing my chunky stuff. But you know what? I don't care because they're going to get glue on them and get glued together. But I have all these versifying inks that I'm going to use to ink the pages up. And I'm just going to go one at a time. And I must just start inking the pages just like that. And I'll get another color. Are we supposed to ink both sides? That needs a piece of tape on it because it really tore. Let me tape it while it's here. What did I do with the end? The end of my tape. There it is. Don't curl. Don't do that. Tape. It did it. It did it. It did done did it. Okay, so we got that taken care of. Are we supposed to ink both sides of our pages? I don't know. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to get some ink on here. So I can have some pretty, pretty pages. I have these little, these little, these have never been used, and so I had these little papers are in the ones that have never been used. And I think I just need to get these used up because they've sat in a basket and I bought them to use. See, they have this little paper in there. Ooh, that's a pretty color. That's pretty, pretty. I like this lagoon blue. Look how pretty that is. Ooh, pretty, pretty. Thing of it is, is I start these journals and then I never finish them. I've got journals and journals and journals that have one or two pages in them, and then that's all they have. Back when I first started doing journals, I'll have to bring some of them out, and we'll have to do a show and tell sometime. Some of them are really ridiculous. 
when I was trying to learn how to draw faces and I gave that up real fast because <laughs> there is no way I was going to learn how to draw faces and I want mine to look like Teresa's uh, cracked hearts cracked hearts what is it Teresa cracked heart studios yeah that when I was growing up I had a friend and she could draw faces she could draw um, figure girls like um, Barbie doll figure type girls oh, she used to make them so gorgeous and I tried to make them mine came out looking like a stick girl like a stick she used to laugh at me laugh at me and I used to say Susan don't laugh at me I want to draw like you I just don't have that talent. I just don't have that drawing ability talent. It just has never come to me and I've just given up on it and I'll use stamps and stencils. Yeah. That's what I'm going to do. So I'm having fun doing this. How's your day going? Mine started out, okay, let me tell you. It is 17 degrees outside. It has been frigid popsicle cold. I mean, frozen popsicle cold since Christmas. It has been ridiculous. 60 degrees on Christmas Day, and then it dropped. Like, boom, dropped. And... We got, um, we got a substantial amount of money, and um, from, you know, my mother-in-law, she's 91 years old, and she doesn't want to order anything out of a catalog. She doesn't like to talk on the phone because she gets out of breath, which I can understand. And she doesn't get out and go shopping anymore, so she just gives us money. So we get quite a substantial amount of money from her every year, and uh, which we're grateful for. We're very grateful for it. But I wanted to go out and cash some of these checks and go shopping and hit some of the sales. Well, I. Last, on the 19th, I went to the dentist, okay? The gas prices were 212 213 and I thought, hmm, I should stop and get some gas. But I wasn't even quite to half, you know, it, I still had quite a bit of gas. And I didn't stop, and it jumped from 2 13 to 2 213 212 along that range 214 up to 265 yeah well that's when my car starts eating the gas you know always and so I've been putting it off putting it off putting it off not getting gas now I'm down to 46 mile 43 miles gas I need gas but it was 259 today when I went to the bank I dropped off some prescriptions at Walgreens looked at the gas prices and it was 259 I'm like uh it's too cold I'm not pumping gas at that price so I went to the bank cashed the checks and came home I was headed for Hobby Lobby, Walmart, Joann's, Michael's, but 
there in the next town over and I knew I was going to need gas. Um, I could get over there but I wasn't sure I'd get home. And I'm really not in the mood to go shopping. You know, you got to be in that mood. And I really haven't been in that mood to go out and bundle up in, in the cold and go shopping. Yeah, I should have put the money in the bank and gone shopping on eBay, Etsy. But I wanted to hit some of the sales, which I'm not going to hit now. They're all going to be gone. The Christmas stuff's going to be gone. They'll throw it out in the dumpster and I'll miss it. I won't be going dumpster diving. Anyway, so that's the story of this morning. So I came home, gave Wes his money, put my money away, and came down here in my little craft room and started doing this and talking to you guys and playing with you guys and you know what I'm nice and warm I don't have a coat I have a sweatshirt on but I don't have a coat on I'm not all bundled up getting hot in the store and then getting cold yeah did I just do that one no this is different brown so anyway, that's my story of today. So I came home and stayed home, and now we're going to play in Chunky Monkey for a little while. We're going to color Chunky Monkey up, and I don't know what I'm going to do in it. i got to figure out what I'm, gonna, what I'm going to do in Little Chunky Monkey. That was not a good idea, Nancy. To stick your finger in the ink pad. These ink pads are so yummy and so juicy. I bet you if I did that, it'd come off on the other page. See? It didn't. <laughs> I lied. It didn't. It didn't come off. I'm a liar. I'm a big fat liar. Some people would say that, like an ex-boyfriend. He'd say that. He'd say all kinds of naughty things about me because I've left him. I left him in the dark. Not in the dark. It was it was daylight when I left him. But he was gone to work and he came home to a house full of nothing. A house full of nothing. I moved all my stuff out into my son's garage. Yeah. And then I came to Cincinnati and he didn't want it in his garage anymore, so he sold my stuff. Sold my stuff at a yard sale. He sold my stuff. Which is okay, because I got new stuff now. Some of the memories, you know, it's sad with some of the memories I had. But he still has my year curio cabinet with the Hummels and stuff like that from Germany. So he didn't get rid of those. Which he thinks I would have strangled him if he did. Yeah. So that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Guys, I'm sticking to it. I'm having fun. Better than being out in the cold. And it's going to be like this clear after New Year's and into February. We're going to have cold. I don't care. It can be cold. But don't warm up and rain and then turn cold and we have ice. That's not cool. I don't like frozen ice and wondering if you're gonna electric's gonna go off. Our electric went off the other night. It was off for I think somebody hit a pole. It was off for a couple hours. And I thought, ooh, we're gonna have to build a fire in the fireplace if it stays off very long. Keep warm. 
But our fireplace smokes so bad that Wes won't build fire. I don't think the flu is open all the way. I think he's messed with the flu and so the whole house got got filled up with smoke. Did I just do crimson red? I don't know what I did. Nope, that's crimson red. And let's see, green. Pretty, huh? Pretty, pretty, pretty. Mine are going to be all different colors. Purples. Yummy. Okay, guys, think of what I should put on the front page. This is toffee. 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 Not coffee, it's toffee. Like that stuff you make, you pour chocolate on it. Mm -mm -mm. I didn't make any of that this year. This is Vintage Sipa. Vintage Sipa. This one is Spanish Moss. Like that one. This one is Deep Lagoon. I like this one. Can you see a pretty um, sea, sea scene on that? A sea under the sea. This one is majestic blue. I'm going to put satin red in between them. Yummy, yummy. These inks are pretty old and they're still really juicy. Juicy, juicy. Come on, Paige. I know there's two of you here. Because I wrinkled two of you together. I got tired of doing them all at once, so I wrinkled two together. Yeah, I did. That's what I did. This one is habanero. Habanero. I planted some of those peppers one time. Habaneros. Oh my gosh. They were so hot. They weren't like ghost papers, peppers. They Habaneros were hot enough. I don't ever want to plant ghost peppers. This is smoky gray. pretty. My ex-husband loved those. This is crimson red. He loved hot stuff, but those habaneros were pretty hot. They were pretty, pretty hot. Yes, they were. We're going back to the Spanish moss green. I need some more Imperial Purple. This is Elizabeth's favorite color. She likes purples and lavenders. This one is Olympia Green. I don't have any orange. I do have orange, but I don't think it's called orange. I think it's called habanero. This is satin red. See, some of these pages I did two together so they didn't get crinkled as much.
because I was tearing the pages because I'm rough like that. And I wasn't being kind to this book. I was being rough with these pages. I have another one down here that have the pages already glued together waiting to be a journal. And I've been using it as my wipe off, my roller offer thingamajigger. This is Majestic Blue. I'm just going back and forth and all around and you know, this is that sepia again. I like sepia when you're trying to um, age the papers. That works really good. Here we have purple again. And habanero. Where are you, habanero? Is this orange? Does that look orange? Yeah, it does. That's an orange. It's not like a pumpkin orange. It's like an orange, orangey orange. <gasps> I just ripped it out. See how I do? I'm just not very nice. I'm not very nice to my book. And I ripped the pages out, and I don't mean to, but I do, and then I screwed this one up royally. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to drop that so hard. I know that can be irritating to people's ears. I think it's funny when Stacy sets her um, glue gun down. It makes a sound before she sets the the um, sets it down on the. You know how it makes that sound? Well, the sound comes first before the gun ever gets set down. I don't know what's wrong with her settings, but I think it's kind of funny myself. I do. It just makes me laugh every time she does it. It's on her regular... Um, YouTube and on her live her live stream it's like that so it's gotta be something in her settings that's making it do that. It's not a delay, it's a prelay. It does it's a precursor to her setting her glue gun down. So, you know, I was going to keep these in order. They kind of got all or out of order. All out of order, but you know what? I don't care. Getting towards the bottom. And you're all probably getting tired of watching me do this. And you probably think I should move on to something better. Or do this and then come back but I'm not going to today I'm just gonna keep on moving moving right along doing my thing I don't have very more pages to go so I'm just gonna keep on moving 
and doing what I've been doing all along. I wonder who came up with this idea of the chunky monkey, the chunky, the fatty patty, or the what did we use for fatty patty two by four? That was not very nice when we called people that. Fatty fatty two by four couldn't get through the bathroom floor, so she did it on the floor because she couldn't get through the bathroom door. Now that was really rude of kids to do that, don't you think? To another person that was overweight. We were, kids are mean. We just say mean things. We need to teach our, but you know what? You can teach your kids. You can teach them and teach them and they won't do it at home. It's when they're out of your hearing and your sight and they pick it up from other children. I can see why people want to homeschool their kids and don't want them to associate because especially when they're in grade school like that because they just say horrible things to hurt people's feelings and you know when we were kids we didn't realize that that was bullying or you know we just thought we were funny but it probably hurt some people's feelings really bad and what you don't know if they went into their bedroom and cried and you know, try to do mean things to themselves because we said that. I mean, that is makes me sad to think I did something like that. Yeah, because you want to follow in suit with the other children. And that's not a good thing to do. Shouldn't do that. But how did we know? We were just being smart Alex. I could have said smart asses, which is the truth. We were being smart asses. And then we'd giggle. We'd hide. We'd hide behind something and yell it out. And then we'd giggle and laugh. How sad. I mean, they could have said, skinny mini to me, skinny weeny mini, what do you do? You float through the air because you're so skinny mini. Don't you eat, lady? Don't you eat? You must not eat anything because you're so skinny. You must be anorexic. I never knew what anorexic was. I was just really skinny and I didn't like food. I guess that was what you called anorexic back then. I didn't like to eat a whole lot of stuff. But look at me now. I made up for it. I got the big fat jeans. They appeared into my life. What did I do this one as? Probably the same thing. This is majestic blue. Alrighty, we're moving right along. Let's do some toffee. I'm going to have to go back and look at some videos. I know that, um, Dawn, she put edges, put some edges on her, put some tabs and stuff. And I don't know what it's called. Oh, I'm going to show you what I got for Christmas. Looky what I got. Looky, looky. Let me put it on autofocus so you can see it better. See what I got. Focus. Out of focus. Focus. 
My hands are still dark. Anyway, let me focus this exposure. Let me take it off autofocus. Let me do the exposure thing again. See if I can. Okay. That looks better. Is it blown out there? Let's put autofocus back on so you can see a ring I got. See it? Pretty, huh? It's rose gold onto sterling silver and a diamond in the center. And this one's just a leaf, a rose gold on sterling silver. Kind of like Black Hills gold. Can you see? Focus. Focus. Maybe if I take it off. Focus. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, this is not coming out right. This exposure thing. Boy, my hands are wrinkly. I'm so old. But I'm really blown out down here. I should quit fooling with these things. Then it gets blown out. No, oh, I'll stop. Let me see here. That's probably the reason why it wasn't focusing. Okay. I'm going to quit fooling with this. I think I got it right now. Anyway, I got these rings from my hubby. Because my wedding rings don't fit me no more. Because I got too fat. And I wanted some rings, and I told him I didn't want another wedding ring, so he just got me a, a cocktail ring with a diamond in it. And it's clamped in there, so... Anyhow, yeah. Oh, you know what? I'm going to use some of these neon neon ones see what happens here oh look at those these aren't as juicy as the versifying look how pretty they are Almost done, guys. Almost done. Ooh, look how pretty, pretty. I got a couple more of those neon ones. I need to get some. Come here, you neon little neon. Yeah. Let's see 
That says neon. That was neon green. What is this? This looks green too. That was neon green. This was neon chartreuse. Ooh. Cool. And we're getting down to the wire, guys. We're getting down to the wire. This is neon pink. Ooh, look how beautiful that is. I bet you guys can't see, can you? Because it's blown out. And this one is neon orange. Woo! Pretty, pretty. I really have got to adjust that. There. I think that's a little better. Whoa, no. All right. Not going to fool with that no more. Now. We're going to do something with these. We're going to hold them, I guess, and put some ink on them. I'm just going to do a few. And... So that doesn't work out too hot. Alright guys, I'm going to go and do all these and I will be back to show you how they look. Okay, you've sat here long enough. I'm just going to ink the edges and I'll be back. Alrighty, look, look, it's done with this part. Look at it. Is that just cool? I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Did y'all see the one that uh, I think Elizabeth got from, for Christmas from somebody? She already had done the front. She punched a hole in here and had a ribbon tied around it. And it was cool. I got to go back and look and see what that girl put on the front of it. I want to make my front cover cool too. So look at the rainbow. I put those neon ones. Look. I'm loving it. Here we go. Chunky monkey. I think I'm going to find a monkey to go on the front of it. A monkey, like a suck monkey. Picture of a suck monkey. Maybe I'll find some napkins that are monkeys. I'm loving it. Look at that. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I hope you had a nice time watching me put ink on my pages. It was fun. It was fun talking to you and telling you stories. And if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Don't be shy. Give me a thumbs up. Write a comment. Let me know who you are. I love to I love to read your comments. Sometimes I don't get back to answering them, but I do read them. So please leave me comments. And I will talk to you again soon. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs>